Hello friends, today we are going to learn the question answers of chapter number 15 around the world in 80 days. Part A. Question number 1. What were the members of the London Royal Club discussing about? There were six members in the London Royal Club. Phyllis Fogg was the main member. They were sitting and playing a card game and were discussing about a bank robbery that had recently happened in a bank of England. Question number 2. Who said that the world has grown smaller? Who supported this argument and how did he justify the argument? Answer. Gauthier Rolf said that the world has grown smaller Stuart agreed that the world has grown smaller by telling that a person can move around the world more faster than a hundred years ago. Question number three. What were the terms of the Vagar? Answer. The, the terms of the Vagar were that the person has to go on the journey on his own expenses. Any extra day will not be given for any bad weather conditions such as contrary winds, shipwreck, railway accidents and so on. Question number 4. Why was Passport out surprised to see his master? As Mr. Phyllis Fogg told Passport out that they were going on a long world trip. They were carrying no trunks along with them. They were carrying two shirts, three pairs of stockings and they were carrying no food item along with them. Question number 5. What would their carpet bag have? Answer. Their carpet bag had two shirts, three pairs of stockings for Phyllis Fogg and same for the passport out. Question number 6. Why did Passport Out uttered a cry of despair? Answer. When Passport Out uttered a cry of despair, Phyllis Fogg asked him that why he reacted like that. Passport Out told him that why he reacted that that because he forgot to turn off the gas in his room. Part B. Answer these questions with reference to the context. First, but that does not consider bad weather, contrary winds, shipwreck, railway accidents and so on. Part A. Who is the speaker? Answer. Start is the speaker. Part B. What does he refer to by that? Answer. Bad conditions of the weather. Part C. What does the speaker say? The next. Answer. That if he would complete the journey around the world in 80 days, he would weather 4000 pounds. Second. But the trunks. Part A. Who is the speaker? Answer. Pass without is the speaker. Part B. Who is he speaking to? Answer. He is speaking to Mr. Phyllis Fogg. Part C. To what does he respond to with this question? Also, when Phyllis Fogg told Pass without that they were going on a journey around the world in 80 days, they were carrying no trunks. Third, what is the matter? Part A. Who is the speaker? Answer, Mr. Phyllis Fogg is the speaker. Part B. Why does the speaker ask this question? Answer, because Passport Out suddenly uttered a cry of despair. Part C. What response does the speaker get? Answer, that he forgot to turn off the gas in his room. Now we will learn the title and the theme of the story. Title, 
travel around the world in 80 days is a fascinating and exciting novel about Phyllis Fogg of London and his servant Passpetta attempting to travel around the world in 80 days on a 20,000 euro beggar set by his Fogg's friend at the reform club. He wins the beggar in the end. So the title is appropriate. Theme the journey around the world in the challenged 80 days. This is the main theme of the novel and connected to it is the main character, the hero of the story. Phyllis Fogg is challenged by fellow West players as to whether he can complete a journey around the world in the short span of 80 days. Fogg is extremely excited to take up this challenge as he believes that if one is precise and efficient enough can make this journey possible. So he takes up the task and starts a hurried journey around the world. He has many ups and downs in this strenuous journey. But he has a never said die attitude that sees him through. Entwined with the story of his travels is the one character who proves to be an obstacle once too often. He is a detective fix and he suspects that Fogg is a bank robber and that the hurry travel from one place to another is just a means of covering up the crime. So, apart from natural hurdles and obstacles that Fogg has to face, he has the further machinations of Detective Fix to circumvent. What is surprising is that Fogg does not suspect Fix and never smells a rat. In fact, Fogg helps Fix at more than one occasion. Thank you friends. Bye bye.